Welcome back to Mojo Grip, Mike here. Today we're gonna do a proper comparison between the Diamond DA40 and the Sling TSI. These are two of my favorite airplanes and I've spent a considerable amount of time flying both these planes that I think that they're worth comparing. Also, anyone who's looking to buy either of these planes should definitely check out the other. For the price you pay for a brand new TSI, you can also afford to buy a used Diamond DA40. Let's take the mission first. When you're buying an airplane, your mission should be one of the most important things that you consider. How fast do you want to go? How far do you want to go? The DA-40 is a dual mission aircraft. You can use it for training and you can use it for cross-country flights. I personally train in the DA-40 and I know how amazing this airplane flies. It also has an amazing safety record. The DA-40 has four seats, but you may not be able to carry four people on a cross-country flight because once you fill up your tanks, you only have about 600 pounds left for your useful load. The DA-40 has a gross weight of about 2,600 pounds. Your fuel capacity is 41 gallons and your max useful load is about 915 pounds. A Sling TSI on the other hand was built for cross-country flights. This airplane can go far and it can go fast. You may use a Sling TSI for training, but chances are when it comes time for checkride, you may need to switch to a certified airplane. Your gross weight in the TSI is 2,080 pounds. You have a useful load of 1,015 pounds. Your fuel capacity is 45 gallons. And once you fuel up, you still have 745 pounds left. For a cross-country mission, this airplane will take you about 900 miles while in the DA-40 you've got about 500 miles. So when it comes to the mission, give or take, training the DA-40 gets the check mark. But as a cross-country flyer, the Sling TSI gets the check mark. So we'll make them equal for this category. Next is the design and finishes. Both the DA-40 and the Sling TSI are low wing airplanes. So you're probably flying one of these airplanes because you have a preference for low wings. They are similar in their gall doors. You can get in and out easily. The DA-40 actually has three doors, two in the front and one in the back. While the Sling TSI has two doors, one on the pilot side and one on the passenger side. In terms of the ramp appeal, I think beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. The DA-40 is a well-designed airplane, looks good on the ramp, so is the Sling TSI. Now if we get a little bit more technical with the design, we can see that both these airplanes were designed with safety in mind. The DA-40 has one of the best safety records in its class. And it's been known that this airplane would never catch on fire even when you have a crash landing. Also another cool safety feature in the DA-40 is, if you were to have a crash landing and maybe the airplane turned upside down, you have another way of getting out with a tab on the roof. The Sling TSI on the other hand is a fairly new airplane, less than 10 years old. The DA-40 has been around for almost 20 years. With some cool safety features that was designed in this airplane, you've got option to have a parachute on board. Also something very unique in the TSI that you may not see in other airplanes is that it has a standalone heat exchange system. See with the typical piston engine airplanes, you typically would derive the heat from the exhaust of the plane. And although airplane manufacturers have been able to build something safe, you still have occasions where there will be leak in the pipes and you have carbon monoxide leaking into the cabin. That's a recipe for disaster. With the Sling TSI, you can't have that problem because the heat system is independent of the exhaust from the engine. Ultimately, I think any airplane is as safe as the pilot flying the airplane. So we'll also give this category to both planes. Now let's talk about the comfort level. This is one of the biggest factors that you'll consider when looking to buy either of these planes. As we mentioned before, both these airplanes are very similar in their design. Your cabin space is just as equal. You have about 45 inches of cabin width in the DA-40 and 44 inches of cabin width in the Sling TSI. Both airplanes have very spacious back seats. And even if you're on the taller side, you should have no problems flying either of these planes as a pilot. Neither of these airplanes have air conditioning, but they both come with leather seating. The DA-40, you cannot change your seats. In the Sling TSI, because it's an experimental plane, you may be able to change the seats to make more comfort for you and your passengers. 
Now speaking of comfort, the DA-40 will carry up to 600 pounds of people and baggage once you fill up the tanks. The TSI on the other hand will carry up to 745 pounds of people and baggage once you fill up the tanks. Both the DA-40 and the Sling TSI have a middle stick so you shouldn't have any problems with your leg room. So when it comes to the comfort level, we'll give the slight edge to the Sling TSI mainly because you can carry more load in this plane. Next is the performance. How fast do you really want to go? Both these airplanes are so similar in their performance that it's ridiculous. When you compare the numbers, you have a similar takeoff roll, similar stall speeds, similar maneuvering speeds. The only places where the Sling TSI would have a slight edge over the DA-40 is in your climb rate and your cruise speed. At gross weight on a hot summer day, expect the DA-40 to climb between 500 and 600 feet per minute. While in the Sling TSI, at gross weight, you're still climbing at 1,000 feet per minute, whether it's hot or cold. And this is because you have a turbocharged engine in the Sling TSI. When you get up to altitudes, the DA-40 will cruise around 152 miles per hour, while the Sling TSI will cruise around 172 miles per hour. Fuel burn in the DA-40, 10 gallons per hour. Fuel burn in the Sling TSI, 8 gallons per hour. The Diamond DA-40 will fly up to 16,000 feet, while the Sling TSI will fly up to 18,000 feet. Now this is where the TSI stands out a little bit better when comparing it to a DA-40. And it's a bit interesting because the Diamond DA-40 actually has a more powerful engine. You have a Lycoming 180 horsepower engine in the DA-40, and in the Sling TSI you have a Rotax 141 horsepower. Also, the DA-40 is a few hundred pounds heavier than the Sling TSI. And because the Sling TSI is a lighter airplane, you don't need a huge engine to make it go fast. As we mentioned, the Sling TSI will also go up to 900 miles with full tanks, while the DA-40 will take you up to 500 miles with full tanks. So when it comes to the performance, we have to give that to the Sling TSI hands down. The last category we're going to compare is the cost of ownership. How much will it cost you to own either of these planes? A DA-40 readily available, a Sling TSI needs to be built. To build a brand new Sling TSI, you're spending a little over $200,000. If you build it yourself, if you went with the Build Assist program, you're spending closer to $300,000. For that same price, you can buy a 2008 to 2012 Diamond DA-40. So let's assume a purchase price of $275,000. But what about your operating costs? Your fuel burn as we mentioned in the DA-40 is about 10 gallons of fuel per hour and your fuel burn in the Sling TSI is 8 gallons of fuel per hour. So on your fuel you'd be spending around $50 an hour on the Sling TSI while you'd be spending around $60 an hour in the Diamond DA-40. But that's not all of it. See, the DA-40 with the Lycoming engine will only take 100 low lead. And the average price for 100 low lead, depending on where you are, is between $5 and $7 per gallon. While the Sling TSI would take car gas. The average price for premium car gas is $3 to $3.50. So now when you compare the fuel costs, you'd be spending significantly less with car gas than you would with a 100 low lead in the Diamond DA-40. Another cost you consider is your annual or maintenance. With a brand new Sling TSI, you can spend a few hundred bucks to let's say $2,000 a year. And that's being very conservative. While in the Diamond DA-40, you'd be spending maybe $2,000 to $3,000 a year. Given that it is a used airplane, you may expect one or two other things to break but for the most part, if the airplane is well maintained, you shouldn't be spending an arm and a leg when it comes to your annual. Both have great engines. The Lycoming IO360 and the DA40 can fly up to 2,000 hours before it can be overhauled. And the Rotax 915 and the Sling TSI currently has only 1,200 hours of flight time before it can be overhauled. Now there's a high likelihood that that would change very soon. Most Rotax engines can fly up to 2,000 hours. And this is expected for the Rotax 915 as well. Another cost you consider with these planes is the insurance. With the same haul value, chances are you probably get a lower rate with the Diamond DA-40 than you would with the Sling TSI. 
and the reason is because the Sling TSI is an experimental airplane and there's very few of these airplanes that are currently flying. But keep in mind that insurance rate will also depend on the pilot themselves. How many flight hours the pilot has, how safe they are, and how many ratings they have on their license. So it could really go either way, but with insurance, we'll give that to the Diamond DA40. So when we calculate all of the costs, we'll put both airplanes at equal plane field. I believe both these airplanes are great choices, whether you're looking to train or you're looking for a cross-country flyer. In my opinion, the DA-40 is a great plane to learn how to fly. It's very easy to fly this airplane, very forgiving, very stable. The Sling TSI is lighter, it's faster, and it can do just about everything the DA-40 can do except a little bit better. And this is why I chose to build one. And in my biased opinion, I think the Sling TSI is the better airplane. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. If you did, please go ahead and give a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notification bell on. A great way to support Mojo Grip is by becoming an MVP member. You can go ahead to mojogrip.net forward slash MVP and sign up. Thank you all so much for your support. Let me know what you guys think. Which plane do you think is the better airplane? Leave in the comments below and I'll catch you all on the next video.